All right, good morning. We have our refrigerator is trimmed out. And uh, the sides trimmed out on the sides. And I'm getting ready to put that refrigerator in its home. Everything sealed up in there. Got our roof vent. Created a box inside there. And um, spray foamed up in there. I'm going to trim that down a little bit. Uh, well, there she be. And boy, doesn't she look pretty. Sitting up there on her little house, a little perch. It's the Dometic 3962, nine cubic foot. Got it all trimmed out around it. And got it bolted in place. Haven't put the door panels in. I won't do that till the end. Um, the refrigerators, you buy the door panels, they're black. Um, my gas lines, my... 12 volt and my 110 volt is all in place and like I said I was going to build a box up there so the heat just goes straight up through the roof so that's done even the top of the refrigerator has plywood let's go take a look at the compartment there's my brandy girl she's been hanging out all day she's been hanging out all day Okay. Now let me turn this thing the other way. Maybe that'll be better. There we go. Okay. As you can see, I still haven't caulked. I've been working on the refrigerator. Um, but there she is. She's in her home. I'm gonna put some uh, uh, some aluminum pieces that I have cut, and I can just slide those in right from here. Now I'm going to pan up to the roof slowly. So you can see, you can see the vent up there. It's all very nice. Very nice. Okay. So, just got to hook up my propane. Got my line here. It's all ready to go. I've got my, my black and red 12-gauge uh, um, two-conductor 12-gauge boat cable. 600 volt, 105 degrees Celsius dry, 75 degrees Celsius wet. Or resistant. Wet, oil, resistant, two conductor, 12 aught gauge. Anyway, this is, uh, this is normal 12 12 gauge wire um, stranded of course and uh, it's got this nice protective sheath on it which I like and you can see right there very simple positive and negative positive is your red positive will be the red and the black will be the uh, negative and this the other day I had wondered why there was a, a neutral wire or a white wire and was I supposed to do something with that? Well, I did my research and what I came up with was if this refrigerator were installed in a tractor trailer, for example, and was using the alternator for whatever purposes, this, this wire 
apparently will shut the gas off for a, a minute or three minutes or something like that. It, it does something, but it has something to do with the, with the alternator, um, putting the gas into some sort of a sleep mode or something, but um, it doesn't affect me, so I'm not going to worry about it, and I won't be using that. So, But uh, there she is, my friends. All we have to do now is hook her up and cool her up, and we could get us some beer. Um, I don't know if you can see, but I'm going to put some caulk around those. Um, I mean, they're pretty, uh, pretty snug, and what I did was some of the... Uh, some of the uh, casing from my six odd gauge wire, I use that as a um, a bushing just to wrap around the wire when it goes through the through the wood, and then I'll caulk those up real good, and uh, they're not going nowhere. Um, here's my here's my. my plug of course I won't be plugging it in right now but uh, uh, come on out of there man come on out of there okay one more okay so of course this is the 110 plug and it'll plug right here in its home it's got a receptacle right there so we'll leave that laying there we're not going to plug that in now if i plugged it in right now i assume the refrigerator might start working i don't know now there's one more thing that has to be addressed and that is the drain line Of course, it's wire tied up here. I should have done this shit when I had it out on the ground, but I, I figured I could do it all from in here, and I was, I was correct. I can. Um, inside the refrigerator, there's a, there's a catch, a catch basin. I'll have to cut that off. No big deal. But anyway, so the drain will come down, and it'll. I'll just run it through, the. Uh, one of the holes and it just it just drips out the side no big deal all right let me clean up a little bit and i'll be back okay all cleaned up for the night just wanted to kind of overview uh this morning you all know that's going to be my like awning switches my victron and everything's going to be right there on that wall so I went ahead and dropped myself some Cat 6, like uh, one of my uh, viewers, uh, subscribers, had suggested that I drop some in, and I happen to have, uh, oh, I don't know, about 100, 200 feet of it left from when we built the house. So I ran three lines, uh, one over to uh, <coughs> the bedroom TV, and... one out here to the uh, living room television um, man I can't get over seeing that refrigerator in there man what a what a what a fun project that was installing that and getting everything ready and, and building the, the compartment the, um, now of course that that wood there is uh, is not the finish I've got some uh, some tongue and groove that goes over that, and I'll uh, of course I'll box in my access panels at the bottom with some nice doors. I've got a uh, air return grate that goes there. Where's Mama? Come here. Here's my here was my muscle today to help me lift that bastard up in there. Um, The incredible edible hawk. You're right. <laughs> I'm just summarizing what we did today with the cat six and uh, 
that refrigerator, boy, that's the big thing. And uh, stove will be easy. I can lift that myself. And of course, the microwave goes next to it. No big deal. And uh, of course, Brandy. Brandy was a big help. There she is. The trim, by the way, the trim came out real nice too. I uh, really pleased with it. The uh, you know the corner corner piece goes all the way up. Anyway, all right, let me. <coughs> Cut this one off for a second, then I'll go lock up the uh, utility room. All right, there she is. Boy, she's coming along. Okay, pretty much uh, the utility room is exactly the way I left it yesterday. Um, I've got all my wires together for proper gauges and everything for to hook up my, uh, my solar controller. Uh, I'll be taking care of that this week. All right. What do you think, Brandy? We ready to go inside? Go eat some dinner? All right. Y'all have a good night.